This is a passion, it's like a love story that I have with the DC-3. But this aircraft in particular, because it has been so important in the aviation history. It has a special place in my heart and I love it very much and I'm very happy and proud that we can present it uh, around the world. 本周表坛最大件的事情，就是百年名的 DC-3 世界巡回来到台北的松山机场，并且载着非常限量的十四名乘客进行本场飞行体验。很幸运的，我们竞表之团队也是其中之一。飞上天是什么感觉？我只能说有点晕，非常热，绝对不能称得上舒服。想象一下，这架 DC-3 已经有七十七年的历史了，也是航空界第一架终于让商业飞行变得舒服一点的经典机型。然而，以今日的眼光来看，开着这样的飞机环游世界一周，实在是一项惊人的壮举，也让人完全感受到机长对于飞行的热情。It's my hobby, flying historical aircraft, but I'm an airline pilot, so I fly the big planes, the private jets, and also military jets. I fly a bit of everything. I do that as a job, and then I do this during my free time. So what's the difference between this and a modern plane? There is quite a big difference. Modern planes. Are all assisted with computers and servos, so it helps a lot the pilot to navigate and to fly the aircraft. Here, everything is manual. There is no autopilot, so the pilot has to steer the aircraft through the skies. And of course, when it's a bit bumpy, like it was a little bit today at the beginning, pilot has to be very concentrated, and we need to work together. The two pilots have to work together. One is manipulating the flight the throttles, you know, the power to make sure the engines are working correctly and doing the radio, while the other one is flying the aircraft. 跟着这架古董飞机一起飞行，让我联想到目前车坛也兴起一股古董车的热潮。原因是因为有太多人开跑车了，古董车还比较稀奇一点。而现在也已经有太多有钱人拥有私人飞机了，所以机长开着这架古董飞机到处旅行，也更显出它的独特性。It feels great, and I tell you why it's so great to have this airplane here. I am very lucky to be the owner of this airplane, and when I see all these private jets that you see next to us that are worth millions, you know, when they land, it's like normal. It's just another airplane. But this one, every time you land anywhere in the world, it gathers the attention. Everybody comes around the airplane. Everybody smiles because they see what a nice airplane this is, and then they start to ask questions. It triggers interest, and that's what I really like with this airplane. 我们现在就坐在百年林的这个 DC 三的古董飞机上面。这个古董飞机的环球飞行对百年林非常有意义的，就是说，因为百年林它最有名的部分就是它所设计的这个给机师专用的飞行滑纸。那这个古董飞机它当时的年代是没有那些电子仪器的，所以所有的机师他们都要利用手表上面的飞行滑纸来计算一些需要的资讯。This slide rule is what we call an E6B, is a navigation computer. When we put the watch on our wrist, it gives us the ability to run all manner of speed, distance, and time, and quantity calculation. I'm talking about fuel burn.、Uh, distance would be miles against time. How far will we go in one hour? Today, obviously, we have all this information right here. It's rare that we have to come back to the E6B. But it's such a part of our training. Every pilot starts out training on this. I still actually carry with me today, in my flight kit, my E6B computer. But this thing on the back is a larger version of exactly what we have on the bezel, on the navigator. 百年林这趟 DC 三环球之旅，还有一个我觉得最酷的地方，就是百年林为这个活动所推出的五百只限量表。也全部都装载在这架飞机上，跟着一起飞行。等到九月份旅程结束，每一款手表都会附有一本《环球飞行日志》，送到表迷的手上。这样子，表迷们买到的可是一款曾经跟着一起环游世界的特别限量表哦。